Whatever it is, I'm sure you suck at it. You do. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste some money on that. Can we release this game in time for Christmas? That's the question here. <laughs> We're here in December and it's not looking like it. Nope. Looks like we're getting stuck in... Well, I don't know. I guess we're... Yeah. Well, I guess considering it does take like a week after they develop before it actually goes on sale. No, they didn't make it to Christmas. Early January release. Go figure. And let's just, uh, this time we'll go with a, an LG in title. Terminator 2. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we never made the first one, but... Too short. <laughs> Why isn't there a, this game sucks ass option from the reviewers? Okay, we gotta get the advertising in. We're gonna distribute a demo of this game. I don't know how they would do that since we're talking about cartridges here, but... I don't know, maybe it's like a demo video or something like that, or... They're setting up demo kiosks in stores for the game. That's probably something like that, I'm sure. Okay, so... Oh, crap. Back. So you can choose any of these roles here, and we're gonna see what the... Yeah, town mascots, why not? So we'll keep up on our sales Terminator here. Ooh, it's gonna have a... Woo! This game was pretty anticipated, I guess. It's outsold other games just in the first week of sales. That's pretty awesome, because that game's gonna make us some cash. But we gotta pay the staff salaries. So that's gonna suck. 10k, even though it's actually 100k. Um, I guess it's a translation fail or something, I guess. But yeah, maybe it's because it's a licensed title. <laughs> it's selling good. People are duped into, oh, this must be a good game. No, it's not. Come on, LJ. Let's not give him too much credit here, right? So, so yeah, we're obviously it's game selling a lot of. Oh yeah, you're right. We do have a lot of money. We need to spend on an online ad so we can blow some money, so we don't have to level up our office right away. No. Okay. So yeah. And Trindo is releasing a new console. Sweet. It's the IES. You know, I had kind of a debating thing here. Because it's supposed to be like the NES, the IES, but you can tell by the controller that this is really like a Super Nintendo. And, of course, the way the unit itself is. And then there's a Super IES, which I fully believe is supposed to be like Nintendo 64. Because the Exodus is the Genesis, so I mean, I'm pretty sure that's that whenever you start the game, uh, you're starting like at the tail end of the 8-bit console. So, you know, that's pretty much where you're starting at, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't know, if you've played this game and have some point to debate about it, then let me know. The IES is a little bit seller, better sell, seller than the uh, Genesis, so we'll see what we can do there. Maria Shapovich. <laughs> She's being hired, that is for sure. So we'll get rid of someone that's got a crappy rating real quick here. Which one's less? Simulation does have a better stats, but... A little bit worse energy, I believe. Hard to tell. 
Let's see who's got the higher salary. Okay, he does, so we'll get rid of him. Okay, let's see if we need to hire anybody else here. Well, we'd be getting rid of our own programmer if we hired her. Let's uh, take a look at this, though. Yeah, we'll be getting rid of our only programmer if we hire her. But we're going to do it. Because we'll have another programmer here very shortly. We're going to make our own. Until we have a programmer, we're going to stick with the contracts. I don't know what that beeping was. I just heard some kind of beeping. Oh, it's my headphones. <laughs> that makes sense. I got some wireless headphones, and uh, they're not plugged in right now, so they're probably about dead. Get ready to plug them in right now. Alright, they're charging. We're good to go. And I can still use the headset while I'm, you know, plugged in, of course. So, let's see. I think we can level up one of our staffers. Let's see. Probably her. We'll make her a programmer. Even though her program stat's not very good. Ah, we're just a little short. Okay. So, we're going to do one more contract here. Let's see. Bring tones because it's going to pay good. And we'll be able to get through it quick because we got two musicians on the staff. Yeah, the numbers are pretty high. We haven't had a breakthrough yet. These are just the regular numbers that are coming up. So, like, we'll probably have it done within one week. Oh, yes, thank you. We need this stuff a lot. That's going to end it right there. Bam, that's our project. I guess it took a week longer than I thought, but... What can we do? Okay. Now we're going to level her up. We use an item. Career change manual. And we're changing her to a programmer. Okay, there we go. I guess we'll start a new contract. Let's see. Game scenario is going to pay pretty good. I think it's worth a shot. If it fails, oh well. But I think we can make it. No, you wouldn't like to try that. Trust me. <laughs> it's not worth the time. Yeah, we definitely need the creativity breakthroughs. Because that's like the hardest stat for our staff to get right now. Could use a research breakthrough right about now. I truly don't think they're going to make it on time. Uh, this breakthrough, if it closes up the gap, yeah, it's going to close up the gap for, but it's kind of wasted. So we'll see. Career change manuals, we're buying them up. 